Somebody happy for the YouTube play button? Yep. So we're back here again guys, Carnival 2.0 Well you didn't know what happened last time when we came um, Three of us had the baddest diarrhea But <laughs> Oh but we have to give Oh but we have to give honest reviews yeah. No lying yeah Waalaikum <laughs> salam We're here for the clean stuff We're here for the good stuff Ramen beef G chunk Lamb shanker, beef shanker. Gigi donor. Gigi donor jay. Lamb shank, beef shank. We're gonna give them both a try. It's not that spicy anyway. Honey? Gigi. I want the full shabang, mate. Full shabang. I got a message on uh, Instagram and I thought I'll read it out to you. It said, uh, Salaam Alaikum wa Rahmatullah wa Barakatuh. Wa Alaikum Salaam wa Rahmatullah wa Barakatuh. I hope this message finds you well, inshallah, brother. I came across your YouTube channel and I thought about reaching out. Your channel is inspirational, mashallah. I have been living in Saudi for the past eight years and was working as a primary school teacher until recently. You, you can eat it. Due to uncertainty in Saudi for expats, I'm considering a move to Pakistan with the concept of Hijra in mind. So she is uh, probably a uh, British then, isn't she? Since you have recently moved there, can you please uh, share some insight? Curious about the living cost, utilities, food, safety and security. I have been to pack in years and don't know anyone there anymore. Want to move to Islamabad, but I don't know where to start. That is a big question. So should we start with the living cost? It all depends. Like if you have children, you have to consider consider uh, what's the best school for you yeah um and obviously no living cost very a town beautiful place to live yeah but if your electricity unit costs are 80 rupees per unit in Islamabad or anywhere else mm. in Berrya town your unit cost for electricity is 160 rupees on top of it's that double. So it's uh, double yeah it's double then any products you buy in Berrya will be more expensive than any local area in Pakistan wow um, and school wise Berrya town has a school called Ace Academy mm. It's about 45 or 50,000 rupees and it's a very, very good school where they teach Mandarin to their children in that school. My daughter goes to Beacon House in England. Yeah. How much uh, is that looking like? Do you pay monthly or? Yeah, monthly. So we pay 51,000 a month there. 51,000 rupees a month? Yeah, but because it's in Vanigala next to Imran Khan's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is about 10 minutes. It takes my driver 10 minutes every morning there. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's convenient for us. The head teacher is German in Beacon House Newlands. Wow. And out of all the Beacon House limits now, but the Beacon House Newlands is the best. And that's only in wow. Um Islamabad, a very good city to live. Uh, very expensive though, isn't it? It is now. Um, is now. What was it a year and a half ago? Yeah, yeah. The rate was much lower. Yeah, what what are they looking for? Like for a two bed apartment, let's say. Slow, but yeah. no sectors, forget about it. <laughs> I'll be honest. With yeah, you. yeah. They're gonna have to go to Rania Heights. Or somewhere. Um, if you want to live in F sector, F sector anywhere in Islam, but you will not find a property under hundred grand. A two, two, two bedroom less than hundred grand. Yeah. No, that's me. English currency. That's English money. Hundred grand. You're not finding no less than hundred grand. Um, I've seen rain. Yeah. Rain. A two bedroom apartment you could find furnished for about one lakh twenty. One lakh well, one lakh twenty to one lakh fifty a month. A month. Um that's in Islamabad. Yeah. If you go to say E eleven yeah, yeah, it's cheaper there. You bought them side. E11, D12. You could D12. find an apartment, a two-bedroom apartment there yeah. for about two, two and a half crore. Two and a half crore? 
two and a half but it's not the best. But that, but that's your you own it. If you own it at two and a half you don't take it. But is it furnished or unfurnished? Yeah, we own furnished. We own furnished. Price wise, Barrier it's Enclave yeah. uh, is the new Barrier Town in Islamabad. So Barrier Enclave that's opening in Islamabad open. near Lakeview Park, right? Uh, yeah, just in the back end, so back end where Imran Khan is. Yeah, yeah. Bali Khan lies back end. Back end of that. Um, Behind Baliga Lagai. You can find a two bedroom apartment there for about 50 grand. 50 grand for a two bedroom apartment in Barrier Enclave, which is new. Uh, they just developed that and it's open now. What do you think about uh, electric electric costs monthly? Summertime, yeah. Bills used to be last year fifty thousand, sixty thousand. This year, the one and a half lakhs. One and a half lakh per month in the summer. Winter. Winter about sixty seventy thousand now because obviously we use the inverter heaters. Yeah, yeah. So your inverters are all so that's cost again. Sixty to seventy thousand. Overall, overall in Pakistan, the from what we were spending a year and a half, two years ago, it's doubled, doesn't it? It's doubled. Yeah, it's everything's different. Yeah. Anyone wanting to come to Pakistan, best bet for them to do, and if they don't have any family or property, yeah, this is great. Rent, yeah, rent. I agree. Rent is the best thing to do. Just to give you that little practice. Even if you rent for a year, yeah. at most to most, it's not like, I reckon if you do a deal with anyone you're renting from, yeah. pay them up front for the year, yeah. they'll probably give you a good 20% discount as well. Yeah, renting is best. Yeah. Plan <laughs> short term for the yeah. long term. Yeah, for the long term. Because yeah. you, you have to see if it's working for you or not. Work your while because it's yeah. not as, expensive, as cheap as people make out. Yeah. It, it used to be you could first be in Pakistan for a grind. Yeah. Not anymore. Yeah. So yeah. things have definitely changed. I, I would recommend earning in pounds or are working online. Yeah. What you have to do is earning foreign income. Yes. Uh, that's the only way of surviving in Pakistan. Because then your income is not affected <laughs> by the rupee dropping or, well, at the moment it's gone up a bit. Well, yeah. But inflation will not affect you. Uh, finally, security. Uh, security. Should they have somebody watching the house? Should they have security if personnel with them? We live in Islamabad. We don't need no one looking after your house. It's okay. Uh, I can't say it's the same for Jalem or the Gyal or Dina or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, the, the local villagers. You know what I mean? Local area. What about going out and about? Should you take somebody with a um, gun? Well, we've just come from Bindi now, Raja Bazaar, with Chuck Hope Block. It was just me and my missus. Yeah. Driver were in the car with the kids, the worker helped, the worker helped, we in the car as well. Um, it's okay. Pakistan is still not quite uh, as it used to be. But it has got for the worst because obviously the cost of living. As it for example, a 10 kilogram body of Atta is now 4,500 rupees. This is here. Wow. Over Dubai. Now, these guys here, they eat roti three times a day. Exactly. Definitely morning, they afternoon, it. night. A family of four are running through at least 40, 50 kilos of Atta a month. And what was the cost before? 1,100 or 1,300 rupees, two and a half, two and a half, two years ago, two and a half years ago. Petrol fuel prices were 100 and 50, 60 rupees. So now they're 300 rupees. 330 rupees. Double. Yeah. Yeah. So everything is double up, more than double up. But the um, local people's wages are the same, aren't they? They have an increase. They still have an increase. Uh, yeah. For example, a bank clerk, a guy that works in a bank, a year and a half ago, 60,000 rupees were getting him through the month. He's not surviving on 60,000 rupees more than 10 days now. People are really on the end. Guys, guys, news in. We have ended up in a different area i ate this is the daddy area and this, is, this is the daddy of the waffles yeah okay so our omar is recommending this waffle place here right behind me and we're gonna try out but look at this just look at this look how busy it is now all the businesses here this place is crammed with cars this is Madia's favourite place, Omar's favourite place. Go on then, Omar, what do you recommend? Look at it like it's your first time. It is my it first is, time. It's my first time too. It's your first time. So they've recommended this stick waffle place, but it's the it's first time. 
this area oh. is our favorite place. This area is your favorite place, yeah? You see, they have every food at there. They do, Glory G, Ranches, Pizza Hut, KFC, and then Cheesios, Tazib. They've got everything. I see what they mean. I don't think there's another place like this around here anyway that I've seen. And this place has been here from before. I've been here about five, six years ago. Let's see what they order. Eat like Gordon Ramsay, yeah? You have to chew it properly. Call the chef over and tell him what you think. And they get the chef to taste it as well. Chef, come here. What's your honest review? This is the waffle steak. This is a half a waffle. Myra's got the other half. Okay, he's deleted. That's Myra's half there. Twix there and the Snickers. Let us Myra. Myra says uh, she doesn't I, like I it. Anything is covered in chocolate. Okay, how about you? I'll be honest with you. With you. You'll be coming here every day when it's closed in the morning. Yeah, crying, and we will be looking at crying, you. Crying like Father Christmas is going to yeah, turn up. And we've come today. Yeah, finally. And for yeah. the price, it's better than Casper's. And I'm a regular at Casper's. Better than Casper's. Mm. He see, says better than Casper's. That's what's the price, is it better because you like it? Is it a really good waffle? The best you've had here? No. No? All right. That's it's wrong. Where's the, best, where's the best you've had? Casper's when it first opened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, welcome to Glory Jeans. And I think it's time to wrap up this video. Um, basically, me and Omar and Myra came to the conclusion that, you know what, the benchmark for living here in Pakistan per month is fifteen hundred pounds. That's in English, in English pounds. In terms of rupees, like Omar said, once upon a time, a hundred thousand rupees was enough. Now what they're saying is that that can be spent really quickly, within a few weeks. So monthly, for something to last for a full month, it only last a few weeks kind of affects how you're living here and your standards uh, your budgeting goes out the window that's why 1500 pounds is a benchmark anything below that you're going to struggle to live here in Pakistan uh, it has to be in the British currency because as the rupee drops you, you will still get uh, a higher rate and when the rupee is strengthened the local imported products like coffee and everything else, petrol, electricity uh, will reduce in price so you're, you're always paying around about the same sometimes a bit more, sometimes a bit less but if you're earning in rupees you don't have that advantage so do definitely consider if Pakistan is for you to live properly I came here for the last six years I was coming every year I was experiencing Islamabad on my own, just me and Myra in an Airbnb, hiring out a car, using taxis initially and then we came to the decision that we're moving here on the basis that we're earning in pounds I tutor GCSE kids, science Myra does a lot of uh, online work as well in terms of therapy uh, and stuff so that's why we're able to live here so I've come to the conclusion that not everyone can live in Pakistan but those that can should definitely come here and give it a try. See you in the next one. Asalaamu Alaikum. That was a heart shape that I uh, drank into.